Good afternoon, dear friends. Natalia is with you on the channel, Just a Doctor, where I share my personal experience and answer your questions. Each of us needs to know his blood type, for what you ask, I will answer. Firstly, none of us is immune from unforeseen situations when information about the blood group is able to save our lives, in addition, knowing your blood group, you can determine a predisposition to the development of certain diseases. Due to this, as far as possible, to carry out their primary prevention. As they say in the people, if I knew where to fall, I would lay straws. To begin with, red blood cells play a crucial role in determining the blood type. On the surface of each erythrocyte, there are specific proteins, antigens A and B, which interact with our immune system, thereby determining the predisposition to the development of a particular disease. For each of us, these antigens can be present in different combinations, thus different blood groups are distinguished. When asked how many blood groups there are in total, many of us do not hesitate to answer that there are four of them. However, there are individual characteristics due to which their non-standard blood does not fall under the signs of a particular blood group. Most of us have blood of the first group. The second position is occupied by the owners of the second group. Every tenth of us has a third blood group, but the fourth blood group is characteristic of only 4% of the entire population of the globe. As for the RH factor, about 70% of the population has RH positive blood. So, a certain set of red blood cells can tell a lot about each of us, and, first of all, talk about a tendency to a certain kind of diseases. How can this data be used? First of all, in order to identify weaknesses in the body in time and pay due attention to them. As the centuries-old practice shows, the owners of the first blood group are hardy people with good health, but some of them are prone to the development of stomach ulcers, intestinal inflammation, gallbladder diseases, and the development of various kinds of allergic reactions, up to bronchial asthma. Women with this blood type are more likely than others to face problems with the reproductive sphere, Persons with the first blood group should make friends with a gastroenterologist, many of them have specific bacteria living in the gastrointestinal tract that can destroy mucous membranes. On the other hand, it has been established that persons with the first blood group rarely have serious diseases of the cardiovascular system. By the way, mosquitoes prefer people with the first blood group, so they need to be especially diligent to protect themselves from bloodsuckers. The owners of the second blood group, according to scientists, have big problems with immunity, therefore they suffer from colds more often than others, and are prone to manifestations of allergies. It is also interesting that the owners of the second blood group are most often subject to stress due to the fact that they have higher levels of adrenaline and cortisol, as well as excessive blood clotting. Cardiovascular diseases and chronic fatigue syndrome are not accidental companions in life for NCDs, therefore, in order to avoid many health problems, owners of the second blood group need to rest more, try to avoid various kinds of stressful effects, and devote time to relaxing types of physical activity, and, first of all, yoga classes. The majority of centenarians on our planet are people with the third blood group. They are quite hardy, not prone to various kinds of viral diseases and the development of oncology. Except for bowel cancer. A real threat to the health of representatives of the third blood group may be poor blood clotting. Quite often they have problems with the bladder and diseases of the ear, throat and nose. Persons with a third blood group would not be bad to make friends with a neurologist, since sciatica becomes a frequent life partner for many of them, and Parkinson's disease at an older age. The fourth blood group is the rarest, its representatives are more likely than others to face infections of various kinds and colds, so to speak, the immune system is lame. People with the fourth negative blood group are more likely than others to have congenital heart defects and, first of all, anemia. In addition, they often suffer from high blood pressure and are prone to strokes. In old age, people with the fourth blood group, dementia occurs more often than others. In order to prevent possible disorders, representatives of the fourth blood group need to constantly monitor the level of cholesterol, and above all its atherogenic fractions and blood sugar, as well as adhere to target blood pressure levels. Logic games will also be very useful for the development of memory and thinking. By the way, touching on the problem of a new coronavirus infection, it should also be noted that it is possible to judge how hard the disease will proceed by blood groups, and, unfortunately, the owners of the second blood group have the greatest risk of infection with the coronavirus, but those with the first blood group are much less likely to catch the coronavirus, get sick milder and die less often. Natalia was with you, subscribe to my channel so as not to miss many new, interesting and useful videos, and be healthy.